Welcome to Sacred Art High School. So once again we start with Max lesson number 7. Quadrilateral construction and type part B. Rectangle. If all angles of a quadrilateral are right angles, it is a rectangle. Among the five elements given to construct a rectangle, at least two have to be the lengths of the adjacent sides. You can construct a quadrilateral when two adjacent sides and three angles are given. From the definition, we know that all angles of rectangle are right angles. So, if you know two adjacent sides, then you can construct a rectangle. Properties of rectangle. Opposite sides of rectangle are congruent. Diagonals of rectangle are congruent. Diagonals of a rectangle bisect each other. Square. If all sides and all angles of quadrilateral are congruent, it is called a square. Properties. Diagonals of equal length, that is they are congruent. Diagonals bisect each other. Diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Diagonals bisect the opposite angles. If all the sides of the quadrilateral are of equal length, it is called a rhombus. Properties of rhombus. Opposite angles are congruent. Diagonals bisect opposite angles of a rhombus. Diagonals bisect each other and they are perpendicular to each other. Example 1. Find the length of diagonal of square of side 6 cm. Solution. Quadrilateral PQR is a square of side 6 cm. Sec PR is a diagonal. In triangle, PQR using Pythagoras theorem. Length PR, the whole square, is equals to length PQ, the whole square, plus length QR, the whole square. That will be equal to 6, the whole square, plus 6, the whole square. That is equal to 36 plus 36, equal to 72. In the sense, length PR, the whole square, is equals to 72. Therefore, length PR is equals to square root of 72. Therefore, length of diagonal PR is root 72 centimeter. Thank you.